there's going to be people out there who are going to bemoan the fact that there's no goals. But my God, that was a, a high intensity, high pressure situation, high passion level, an unbelievable crowd again. Uh, a game that for me had everything that uh, that goes into a great soccer game except for the the goals. But geez, big time credit to both goalkeepers, right? Uh, one of the best goalkeepers in the league for years now. Um, I think it's just a bit, um, you know, he does it year after year, so it's, you know, people expect it. Tonight he just uh, did another another uh, game like he always does. I think it, it would have to go down as one of the single best individual performances by any player that's ever worn an RSL jersey. Yeah, these are the playoffs, you know. Um, big players step up in big games, and I think everybody stepped up tonight. Um, it wasn't just me, and, and you know, I did my part for sure, but but showed it everybody else. I'm not getting that zero without those guys. I thought we gave up a, a couple big chances tonight. Um, you know, I think we probably, you know, maybe could have done better closing down a few of those crosses. Um, like I said, we, we don't want to rely on Nick, you know, pull, pulling things out like he did. Uh, you know, in the next game, I'm, I'm hoping that we can get, you know, a goal early and maybe, maybe dominate possession from there on out. We create chances, so we have to, to be more more patient in, in front of the goal. The keeper from Seattle Sunday, they make a, a good save. And, and now but we have to now thinking about the next game and, and take the series down. Their goalkeeper played great too, you know, and the last time we played here, he played great. And, and um, we're stingy with our defenses, both our teams. And um, it's, it might just take one goal to go through to the next series. And, and uh, hopefully that's us.